The reason for, you know, breaking up and everything is be too psycho, manipulative, and controlling, bro. I'm too much of a boss-ass nigga to be controlled by a woman. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video and today we're going to be talking about Flight Reacts in his video titled Single, The Craziest Woman I Ever Met Story. So basically this guy had, as of a few days ago, he's a very popular YouTuber and as of a couple days ago, maybe even yesterday, um, you know, him and his girl, basically she did um, domestic abuse in my opinion on this guy. And we're going to get, you know, a bit of the story and see what he thinks about it. And, uh, yeah, let's just crack into it. Oh, and before we do, guys, come and join the Discord if you haven't already. Link is in the description. But anyway. By anybody in general. You know what I'm saying? Too much of a king, too much boss. If I work too hard, you're not going to control my emotions. So this hasn't been the first time. If some of you guys keep it true with y'all, watch my live streams often. Um, sometimes, like, I'd be on my phone sometimes, and I hate doing that. But... Sometimes, most of 90% of the time, those would be arguments because she would be on some insecure, like, just weird, weirdo-ish, bro. Like, with just the weirdest things. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's just basically what was, was the downfall of everything. So, basically, you know, I ended up breaking with, up with her on live stream, uh, made the single tweet and everything. Uh, she ends her live stream. I'm still live streaming. I was, I was not planning to stop whatsoever. Um, she ends her live stream and she pulls up on me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm at my second crib. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm at my second crib and everything. So she ends up pulling up on me, bro. Um, and she's at the door. Now she's banging on the door, like fucking, like, 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 like straight, like worse than feds, bro. Like I promise, like you, 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 you would have, if you heard the banging, bro, bro, you would have thought that I had like seven bodies, like somewhere in this damn crib right now. Okay. So if you guys didn't catch that, basically when I say he's a big YouTuber, he's a very big YouTuber and he put out a tweet that said he was single and he, you know, he broke up with his girl and he put out a tweet that said he was single. So this girl comes over to his house, starts banging on the door repeatedly while he's live streaming to about 50,000 people, 40, 50,000 people, something like that. So that's what he's explaining here. If you didn't quite catch what he said there about the tweet. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just, I did not like, I could have ignored or not. I was trying to ignore it or not, but I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? So, I call her first and she's basically saying that, oh, like, I'm on my cycle, which actually she was, but I'm, she just got off of it, like, this morning or some shit like that. Um, she lied and said she was on a cycle, she was bleeding or whatever, so, gentlemen react, you know what I'm saying? I gave her five minutes, and so she also has, like, some of her stuff, that, like, she has some of her Uggs here and, like, her, um, you know, just minor clothes and shit, so I was giving her an opportunity to get her shit, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't gonna, um try to show out or do something extra on the stream. I was even voluntarily trying to mute it, but this is where shit turned left, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that was in the stream. I don't gotta explain much, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm happy I had the cameras on, you know what I'm saying? So you'll see the shit in the VOD. Um, I ended up letting her in, being the nice guy that I am, letting her in. Mistake number one. So this girl rocked up to his house after he had broken up with the girl. She rocked up to his house, repeatedly banged on the door. It was... Terrible in his stream. So he goes over and before he opens it, he's like, No, I'm not letting you in. And then the girl tells him that she's it's her time of the month and she's bleeding and she needs some she needs some equipment from his house. And also that she needs to pick up some equipment like her her stuff, like some Ugg boots and whatever she said she left there. So this girl's straight up lying to get into his house to begin with. Okay? And the thing is, like this guy is too nice to understand that it was a lie from the beginning. You know, he, he thought he was just letting in the girl because, you know, it was her time of the month and she needed some tampons or whatever. Or some pads. That's what he thought. And, you know, or to give back her stuff. My guy, you never let her in. And, you know, this this is not a video to bash on this guy. Um... I, I think he did well. There were things he could have done better. But this is not to bash on this guy, okay? He's he's learned a lot, as you can see, from the start of the video. Um, about, you know, he's he's well off. So he should, you know, treat his time as such. He seems to have learned his lesson quite a bit. It's not a bash on him video. We're just looking at the, the girl's behavior. But yeah, so he lets her in to his house. Knowing full... She's been banging on the door for ages. Super loud. Not stopping. And let's get going and see what else happens. 
because I'm thinking that she needs to put a tampon in and fill me because I'm thinking she's leaking. Boom. Ends up lying about this shit saying, oh, I'm not leading. We're going to work this out. Okay, so cool. Um, I'm like, I'm still going to stream. We can talk afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Even with me saying I'm going to talk afterwards, my intention is pure and solid and I'm not going to fucking fold. Like, you're single. Once I have to tweet or post something that I'm single on the internet, it has taken a lot out of me to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't just get in one argument and just post single, this and that. I'm not a social media person when it comes to relationships. You know what I'm saying? So for me tweeting that, that's from more than five or eight different times of you just doing competitive, repetitive shit. And she knows she's in the wrong because not only did she apologize for the shit that she did today, she's been apologizing for shit back and forth, back and forth. And the thing is, is that she honestly showed improvement, but it will be something new every single time. All right, so fast forwarding on, she ends up coming to the kid's room. She comes to the kid's room while I'm streaming. I'm on like 2K my team, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to continue streaming, you know what I'm saying? Giving everybody top 10 entertainment, you know? Um, I'm trying to give contact uh, straight. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, lay up the ganja. I just forget my vocab word, man. Um, <laughs> top tier entertainment. That word was even better. All right, so look. She comes into the kid's room. Um, and then she starts to kind of, I feel the hostility, you know what I'm saying? I feel the hostility. And mind you guys, like throughout this whole time, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga did not fall whatsoever, bro. No hands was put on her, none of that. She's literally baiting the dog shit out of me to put hands on her, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's saying shit like, oh, I'm about to turn off your stream. Did you guys catch that? What he just said there? This girl was baiting him to try and attack her. To try and put his hands on her. You see that? Because she knows that the moment he puts his hands on her, oh, he, you know, she can get so much of his crap. Then she's definitely the victim. You see that? But yeah, let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? She starts putting her hands on my equipment. Once you put your hands on my stuff, you honestly don't even have respect for me. You probably didn't even have respect for me for a minute. But the fact that you have the audacity to put your hands on the equipment that I slaved and worked my ass off for, you know what I'm saying, just shows how much respect that she has. So she ends up muddying my stream, you know what I'm saying, just because she wants to talk. Okay, so I give her the opportunity to talk to me, but then she's saying that no, end this shit now. She starts yelling at me when the shit's mudded, muted, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucking, you know what I'm saying? One thing leads to another, so I'm like, bro, fuck this. I'm turning it, I'm, I'm, I'm mudding this and turning it back on just in case. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, FTC in the chat, seeing everything that's going on, bro. And I'll just like, the thing that I'm just upset about, man, is just that. I come here on Friday on Twitch live stream, man, and just entertain everybody and just give everybody a better life. Top tier entertainment, everybody a better life, man, and just forget about the outside world, bro. But, you know, certain people just push you to another level, bro. Um, what else? One thing leads to another. Five minutes, ten minutes starts to go on, bro. She keeps threatening. I'm gonna turn off your stream. I'm gonna turn off your stream. I'm, I'm like, no, you're not. You're not gonna touch my shit. So like this whole time, mind you, I don't have no hands on it. You guys can see the footage. No hands on her. None of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling, straight chilling. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what she wants me to do. You know what I'm saying? Six, eight, ten figure nigga. A girl's gonna want you to put hands on them so they can eat off that check for the next 20 years, bro. You guys, you gentlemen, gotta be smart in 2021, bro. You know what I'm saying? You guys gotta realize that women have better rights than men. You know what I'm saying? It's not, bro, honestly, woman rights is, what the, the, the woman rights that they have over men and, 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 and the way the tables are turned when it comes to women and everything is just honestly worse than racism, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Guys, like, I don't really need to add any commentary to what was said there. Like, that's just straight up facts. I don't know if this guy's been watching, you know, Death is Cold, AMS. It seems like it. He's starting to... Get a bit of a head on his shoulders about this sort of thing. But yeah, man. At the end of the day, yeah, you never... Don't touch the girl. At all. Um, You know, and we're going to keep going for a bit. We're going to make this like probably a two, maybe even a three-party. Because this is a lengthy video. And the story kicks up uh, a bit. You know, we get to see kind of what she does. He goes more in depth. Um, But yeah, man. This is just a sad story. It, it gets into the part where... um, I won't spoil too much of it, but... He doesn't forcefully remove her from the house, which I think he should have done. You see, he's thinking that just because he's sitting there and not touching the girl, that he's doing the right thing. My guy, you should have her removed from the premises 
immediately. You see, these guys think they they owe the girl a like a discussion. Bro, you don't owe that girl anything. You don't owe her a discussion. You don't owe her the time of day. You see, the nerve for her to rock up to your house, bang on the door, come in, start screaming at you, abusing you, live, by the way, and apparently it was a lot worse off of live too, touching your equipment, which you earned, your money, your time, like, bro, kick her out of the damn house. We're only going to listen to a bit more because the video is getting a bit lengthy, but let's see what else he has to say. I'm saying, like, the fact that I just feel like women have more of an advantage to just get over on certain stuff, bro, it's, it's just sickening, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because imagine if the roles were reversed. Not only at this point, she's trespassing. You know what I'm saying? She's trespassing. Even though I let her in, you know, technically, she's still trespassing because I told her multiple times, like, respectfully leave all this stuff. You're touching my- So she's yelling at him, she's touching his stuff, she's banged on the door, she's outright abusing this guy, he's telling her to leave. Can you guys imagine if a man did this? Like if, a, if the roles were reversed, like he said, and it was a man inside the girl's house doing this. My god. My stuff, not even that, we're not even like halfway into the shit, bro. So five minutes go on, more minutes go on. She just turns off my live stream, bro. I had about like 40, 42, 45,000 viewers. Yes, bro, on a live stream. So not only, like when she did that, it was just raps. It was, I was already raps before she even pulled up, bro. But the fact that she literally had the boldness to turn off another man's live stream that has that, and, and you guys know I'm not like a, 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 a view horror, that type of person, the number stats and all that stuff, bro. But feel where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like, the amount of self-control like another man has, like, that's what people, I feel like you need to give me credit upon this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if the roles was reversed and I was the one going into her house, and not only that, like, she was just saying other things like, oh, like, in the stream right now so we can fuck, trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Put aside the fact that what you just did, you know what I'm saying, this whole time, you know, basically, you know, I wouldn't, because I feel like it's weak to say harassing on some shit. Like, I just feel like it's weak to say some shit like that. But Yeah, my guy, you were harassed. Like, don't try and, you know, play off her actions as anything less than harassment. But you guys say whatever you say. But imagine if the roles was reversed and I was the one doing it. Bro, like... I'm, bro, it's instant jail, fucking prison time, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how women have so much more of an advantage and rights over men, bro. Like, whoever the fucking governor of, or mayor, or even the president of this shit, like, fix that shit, bro. Like, what the fuck is you in office for? What are you doing? You know and I think that's a really good place to end it, guys. What are you doing? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a question that I also have. You know, this is an awakening moment for a guy like this, okay? I, I really want to emphasize that this video isn't to bash on this guy. I think he, you know, all things considered, he did really well. He wants to move on with his life. He's realized his value. So the video isn't bashing this guy at all. This isn't some, like, some cuck we've, we've put on the video here. This is, like, a genuine dude, right? And, you know, he's speaking straight facts. Imagine if the roles were reversed. It's just, oh my god, bro. But yeah, this video already at 1.4 million views, so hopefully it'll get some good coverage and, you know, we can start to have more of a discussion about this sort of thing. Because nobody seems to want to have a discussion about it. But anyway, guys, we will leave it there. Leave your thoughts and comments below. I want to, like, hear what you guys have to think about this whole situation. I'll probably be doing more videos on this, we'll see. Um, but feel free to go to his channel and give it a watch. It's on Flight Reacts, I think, and it's called Single, The Craziest Woman I Ever Met Story. But yeah, guys, it has been Taylor the Fiend, boys. I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.